And joining us now, defensive coordinator Corey Batoon. Corey, we had a chance to speak to you, uh, to you once before, again at a golf tournament. I guess the question is, how's the progress? <laughs> progress is progress. Um, you know, the spring's been great. The kids' energy has been great. Um, I think they uh, come to work every day. Um, and, and so that's kind of where you start is work, with the work ethic. Um, but, you know, 13 practices in right now, I mean, uh, we got a good chunk of what we're trying to do in, and, and uh, evaluations are, are in progress. Well, one of the things uh, that seemed to me to it causes a great deal of enthusiasm, you guys come in with a new package, new schemes, and a lot of guys here are thinking, hey, this is my chance. Make an impression. I can get on the field. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, uh, w with change, uh, there's opportunity, right? And uh, so guys kind of get a chance to reshape uh, kind of their perception. Um, and, and I think it's, it's been positive. You know, there have been some kids uh, in the past that haven't gotten much of a run and and all of a sudden, maybe by maturity or, or by numbers, uh, they get an opportunity in the new system. Seems like you guys are committed to moving, for example, Jelani Tavai. Looks like he might be seen in quite a different number of places on the field. Sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, w when you're looking at your depth, especially in the spring when you don't have as many bodies as you're used to, you try to find uh, roles for everybody. And, and I know he's had, uh, he's had a past in terms of playing on the second level and on the first level as, as a younger player. So just trying to figure out... Uh, you know, how you can fit in all the different packages. And you got to have your best players on the field. It's about players. In terms of where you have depth, it does seem like maybe there's a little more experience at linebacker than there is at some of the other positions right sure. now. I think there's uh, there's some depth there in particular with kids that have played, uh, you know, meaningful reps. Yeah. Um, numbers are, are, are pretty balanced. But uh, when you look at the... Uh, the lion's share of the kids that have that have had production in the program, uh, you know, they come from the second level. Sure. And you haven't even seen a live, at least, Malachi Mangio yet, who I know. There's not, there's not a coach that watches him doesn't love him because yeah. okay. he is all go all the time when he's on the field. And yeah. you guys didn't expect to get him back for the fall? We hope. Um, you know, I, I think that that's the plan. Uh, he's kind of had some hard luck with just some nagging, you know, little injuries here and there. Um, but but I've heard great things of him. Oh, and he's fun to watch. And, and, and Solomon Matotia and Maya Pritchard. I mean, you guys have a number of guys who have not only played, but played pretty well and, and certainly in spots. No question. Yeah, and like uh, like we talked to uh, earlier, uh, it's about, you know, finding the best players and, and getting them on the field. You know, it's about the best 11. So I guess you've made a move. Ikem Okeke looks like he's getting a, a try at safety. Yeah. Does that look like a natural fit for yeah, him? Yeah, I, I think he's played some of that in high school, and, um, you know, the transition's been pretty natural. Um, I, I like what I've seen so far. What about the rest of the back end? Uh, it's coming together. I, I like our corners. I think we got, you know, four to five guys that, that, that can play and, and can do some things. Uh, still, again, trying to develop the uh, depth, um, you know, at safety, and then, and then trying to figure out what the pecking order is at linebacker. And then, of course, you got you know you're going to have guys in the slot. I mean, I, there's a number of secondary positions, especially the way you're moving guys around. Mm -hmm. So when you if you're sick into the theory of best eleven, right. we might see some things that people would say, "Wow, that's unusual." No question. Yeah, uh, you know, c coming coming into the system, uh, going to four two five instead of the four three package that they've done in the past. I mean, you, you got to be more creative with uh, some corners. You know, can they play the nickel? You know, can they play the slot corner? Uh, what can the safeties do? You know, and again, that's what spring is about. It's an evaluation period. And, and then you have a better feel coming into the summer uh, as you start game planning, uh, you know, what, what those pieces look like. Jen, just a general question, because after having been in the SEC, and I know you were at Lane Kiffin, Florida Atlantic, in terms of the talent level here, was it about what you expected? Or are you thinking, well, okay, maybe we don't have as much as I'm used to? Where are you in terms of evaluate what you've seen so far? Yeah, we really didn't have an expectation when we got here because, you know, um, hadn't seen them on, on tape, you know, with the time difference and stuff. Yeah. Um, but, but I think, uh, you know, I've, I've been happy w with, um, with our interior. I think our uh, defensive line, uh, there's some, some players I'm not used to seeing. Um, we were awful small at, at Florida Atlantic last year, so we've got some, some guys, uh, you know, that play along the, the defensive line that, uh, you, you know, is back, back to some of the guys that we're used to seeing, you know, in the SEC. So that, that, that's that been a pleasant surprise. Well, one of the guys that uh, I, and I just loved his name, I've been kind of keying on him because he's new here, Blessman Ta'ala. Mm -hmm. That's what he's all named to him. Oh, no question. And it looks like he can be a player. Yeah, he's got, uh, he's a guy that they uh, gray shirted last year coming off an injury out of high school. And uh, we didn't really have him uh, during uh, winter conditioning because he was still rehabbing. And, boy, he's uh, one of the most uh, – I think he's one of the strongest guys on the team and, you know, just walking in, uh, you know, fresh as a freshman. Uh, so I think, uh, I think he's, got, uh, he's got a chance.
Someone told me he's just started lifting weights. It, it was like up till now, it's country strong. Yeah, no question. Now, I, uh, he's uh, one of those uh, naturally gifted uh, uh, athletes. In terms of what you and you're getting ready for a couple different things, two service teams, sure. so you know triple option. Have you in your coaching career had to prepare for triple option before? Yeah, we have. Uh, you know, we opened with Navy last year uh, at FAU, and then when I was at Arkansas State, uh, we played the academies also. So. Um, yeah, Not foreign to you. No, no. Is that I, – I, some coaches seem to relish that. Others would wish the week would just go away. Where, where are no. you on no, Where I, are you I, on the continuum? I sort of like it. Uh, you know, when you're planning and preparing, you know, you, you kind of – you, you know, you, it, 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 it's not the best. It's not the most opportune uh, deal to have. But uh, once you get into game week and, and you start working those fits and uh, the kids start understanding, I mean, it's kind of old school football. It kind of throwback. Kind of funny because everybody here, I mean, certainly myself, I remember when Kenny Neomatololo no was a GA here, I mean, back, and a player. Yeah. And then so we always go and visit him and Ivan Jasper and all the guys at Navy. We know those guys pretty well. And I remember Dave Aranda when he was here. He was calling every guy that played on the offense yeah. when he was here. No Aranda was one of those guys. Yeah. I, do you know Dave at all? Yeah, I, yeah, I know Dave. Guys, yeah. I know Dave. Uh, really good guy, good coach. Yeah, and he brought everybody. I imagine you guys will be doing some of the same things to yes, uh, kind of get it figured out. And what's interesting is you. I don't know if you've ever had the chance to go to Army. Uh, that's an interesting. It's that's an beautiful. interesting place. It's it's absolutely place. beautiful. I've never been tough. there on game day, but uh, right. we went this past summer. Um, you know, uh, my wife and I. Uh, we were in the city and we took the train up and a beautiful trip up there. And uh, what an awesome campus. It really and, and is the history yeah. there. I mean. Uh, it's going to be great for our fans to go out there and see that. I always tell people there's a, there's a road trip every year we try to pick out to say if you want to really have an experience with the UH this year, West Point. No question. Yeah, from be a, a cultural good. standpoint, what a neat opportunity. No question. Corey, I'll let you get back yes, to work. Sir. Thanks so much for the visit. Thank you, sir. Always enjoy chatting with you. Right. Corey Batoon.